I've just returned from Brazil and the world launch of the first book in the Seven Sisters series. And I was thinking on the plane on the way home, what a journey it actually has been for me um, as a writer and a person. And during the writing of the first of the Seven Sisters, I kept a photo diary and I'd really like to share it with you. When I first drove into Rio, I saw Christ the Redeemer sitting above me on Corcovado Mountain and I thought to myself, how did he get there? I'd been looking for the story to open the Seven Sisters series and I became fascinated with the story of Christ the Redeemer and how it had been built. I decided to come back to Rio and rent an apartment in Ipanema and do some research because I really believe that to actually write about a place, one needs to live in the atmosphere of it. I discovered that my neighbour in Ipanema was Belle Naronia, who was the great-granddaughter of Eitur de Silva Costa. She shared all her knowledge of him with me, her wonderful film and his personal diaries. So it was absolutely wonderful in August 2014 when the book was launched at the Copacabana Palace. And not only Belle, but her aunt, the granddaughter of Eitur de Silva Costa, were present to celebrate with me. I was nervous that the Brazilians would not take the book and me to their heart. After all, I am an Irish girl from the other side of the world writing about their country and their most precious monument, but in fact they did. And the reception that the book and I had in Brazil was absolutely amazing. And then when I arrived back from Rio de Janeiro, guess what was waiting for me on my doorstep? It was actually the first copy of The Seven Sisters in English and I am so thrilled with this cover. It's definitely my favourite cover ever and I think it really does justice to the story inside um, and I really hope if you get a chance to read it that you enjoy it. And also recently I finished Ali, the second book in The Seven Sisters series. <laughs>